Thank you very much. Oh, let's keep going again. Uh, it's an incredible honour to once again be speaking uh, with you all. A year ago, we stood together the largest demonstration of hope in our time. And today, I'm proud to say we've gone much, much bigger and much, much better than that. The reason Labour for Independence plays such a positive role in the Yes campaign came from the acceptance of each and every one of you who realised just how important the Labour movement is in winning this referendum. In the last year, we've been labelled a lot of things. Undercover unionist spies, a front for the nationalists, and every other claim conspiracy theorists and ex-news of the world journalists would like to make. But the truth is always so much simpler. The truth is, we stand here today, united with nationalists, greens, socialists, people of a party, people with no party. Gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Hindi and beyond. Joined by our Catalonian brothers, our Venetian brothers, and many, many more, standing tall and fighting to change our country for the better. Because change, in the end, that's what's, what we're really fighting for. In countries around the world, from Uganda, Rwanda, India and Ireland, blood has been shed over generations, fighting for what we can achieve with one small cross on one small box. It really is that simple to make this change. Today we have seen a country run by a government who are voted third and fourth in Scotland. Run by the elites, backed up by London finance and votes. This government has instilled a regime of decimation on the poor and working class. Yeah. A government with no mandate in this land determining our welfare policy. Yeah our economic policy and our foreign policy. Well, we are here today to say no more. Yeah! Yeah! Now, last year, I think there was about 10,000 people here. Well, we stand tall with an even louder voice today. So I'd like if you'd grant me a little bit of crowd interaction. And we're going to make it as simple as the referendum. All you have to say is yes or no. So let's make sure the BBC in London hear us here. If you want Scotland to remain part of the fourth most unequal society, vote No! If you want to keep the bedroom tax, vote No! If you want people on disability having to prove to a board just how ill they really are, vote No! If you want our elderly to have to decide between heating their homes and eating their dinner, vote No! If you want to keep one in five Scottish children living in poverty, vote No! That was good. Now, let's go with the reasons why we're actually here. Let's make it so loud it sends a tingle down George Osborne's spine. <laughs> if we want to rid ourselves of nuclear weapons, vote! Yes! If we want a government we voted for and one we can be proud of, vote! Yes! If we want universal public services from cradle to grave, vote! Yes! If we want to look after our poor, our old and our sick, vote! Yes! If we want our country to lead the world in renewable energy, vote! Yes! We need to send this message to every town, city, village and street in Scotland. Are you with us? Yes! We have a chance to create something extraordinary, but it will take change. Sure. And change is only useful if it's changed for the better. I'm not voting yes to give up on our trade unions, to keep the Queen, keep the pan, to watch EastEnders and a vote on X Factor. I want to see Scotland which uses its full resources of its nation, our natural resources, our industry and our people to its fullest. I stand here today as a father of two with another one on the way. I want to see a Scotland that will give them the best chance in life. I want to see a Scotland will stand proud in the international community, not as an imperialist, authoritarian voice, yeah. but as a shining example to the world. An economically vibrant, socially just society promoting equality, fairness throughout the land. A nation we can be proud to leave our children and grandchildren. One of my party's founders, the great Keir Hardy, once said to the House of Commons, the last has not been heard of the socialist movement either in the country or in the floor of this house. I'm confident that if he was here today, he would be marching with us. Yes. Because while on that floor we may never see the socialist movement again, it can be heard in every city, town and village in this great land. Yeah. 
Labour for Independence is proud to be here with you today, proud to be standing for what is right, and proud to represent the real Labour movement in Scotland. Yeah. The, the vote on the referendum next year will be the most important of our lives. While the Tory backbenchers say their EU referendum will be the first time in 40 years for our voices to be heard, our referendum will be the first time in 300 years yeah. that our voices will be heard. Scotland can be the most frustrating place in the world. We have so much to offer, so much to be proud of, so much still left to achieve, if we can only just believe in ourselves. Yes. Yes. I believe in Scotland. I believe that the people of Scotland will make the right choice. The choice of hope, the choice of change, and the choice of a better nation. Together, we can be that change, and together, we will win. Thank yes. you very much. Yes.